Hey guys, Drew here from the Guitar Brothers Company, and today I'm here with the follow-up video to teach you the electric guitar part, the solo and the outro, to uh, How Would You Feel by Ed Sheeran. Um, let's see, for this bit, there, it starts off with a solo section, and then it kind of goes into a, he doesn't ever stop playing, but he goes into an outro where the rest of the song comes in and the guitar just keeps going, and uh, then you finish out the song. So, um, for the, the solo section, there is one sort of motif that occurs um, again and again throughout the main part, and it goes like this. Alright, and then you have the different endings you put on that bit, so. And what that is, is you slide uh, your first finger on the G string up to the 9th fret, then you play on the 11th fret, then you're going to play the 10th fret of the B string, and you're going to come back to the 11th fret of the G string again, so 10, 11, and you're going to come back to the 10th of the, uh, the B string with your middle finger, then you're going to use your ring finger to bend the 12th fret of the B string up a whole step, then you're going to play it again. And you're going to want to make sure you mute at the top of that bend. Because you don't want... That's not what we're going for. We're going for... Mute. Then play the 12th fret again. Then uh, for the first time, what we're going to do, the first time around, is we're going to bend the whole step again, and then we're going to do... Um, it's called a pre-bend, is where you have the, bend, the string bend. And then you play it and release the bend. So, so, um... Then we're gonna pre-bend. Alright? Then we're going to come back and play the 10th fret again. Then the 11th on the G string. Alright? Then the, uh, we're going to play the motif again. Then we're going to do this little, uh, this little lick we see in country songs a lot, actually. Where we, we're going to use our pinky to play the 12th fret of the high E string. While we have the 12th fret of the B string pre-bent all step. Alright? So we're going to play the 12th fret uh, of the high E string, and then we're going to uh, release the bend on the, 11, on the B string. Then we're just going to play the 10th uh, fret on the B string, 11th fret on the G string, and then the 10th fret on the B string again. So. Just like that. Then we're going to come and play the motif again. We're just going to hold it right there, add a little vibrato on the 12th fret. Then uh, what we're going to play is this a little bit. And what that is, is we're going to hammer on from the 12th fret to the 14th fret of the high E string. Then we're going to slide up to the, what even is that, the 17th fret? Alright. And we're going to come back to the 12th fret and hammer on to the 14th again. Just like that, alright? Uh, then we're going to come back and play the motif again. We're gonna do the little uh, pre-bend, and then we're gonna hammer on from the uh, tenth to the twelfth, and then play the tenth again. So all together, that little solo section is. Then we're going to uh, transition into the sort of outro because he's going to come in singing again and playing the, the uh, piano and acoustic. So he's going to come in singing again and we're going to put our middle finger here on the 
a tenth fret of the B string, then our ring finger on the eleventh fret of the G string. And you may you might want to just use your first string second finger again, but if we use our uh, middle finger, finger our middle finger and our ring finger, then that allows us to use our first finger for this little. It's another little pre bend here on the uh, on the D string. So we're gonna play. Then we're going to have this pre bent like a half step. I guess a whole step. Yeah. We're gonna have the ninth fret of the D string pre bent a whole step. And slide down to the uh, seventh fret. So. Then we're going to slide with our uh, ring finger up to the eleventh fret on the D string, right? So uh, just play that slow. Then we're going to uh, pre-bend, this time we're going to bend up with our ring finger on the, on the ninth fret of the D string and then pull off to the seventh fret. Then we're going to play the ninth fret on the A string. All right? So that those two little sections actually. The first section is... Then this next little lick. play it again. Except this time we're going to hammer on back from the 7th fret to the 9th fret. Alright. Then we're going to come down to our uh, G string. We're going to slide from the uh, 9th fret to the 11th. And then pluck the 9th again. And then uh, he comes back in with the chorus. How would you feel? is we're going to bend on the 12th fret up a whole step. Alright, we're going to hold it, and then, uh, so, we're going to come in with our pinky on the 12th fret of the high E string. Alright, pluck that real quick, and then mute it, and we're going to play the 10th fret of the B string. Alright, then we're going to do it again. Except this time, instead of the 12th fret with our pinky, we're going to get the 14th fret. Alright? And we'll do it one more time. And this time we're going to go all the way to the 17th. So remember before when we did the 12th, to the 14th, to the 17th? We're following those same notes. Alright? Then we're going to just come in. Just bend up a whole step on the 12th fret of your B string and play it back on the 12th fret, you know? Like that. Again. We're just gonna let it sit there on the 10th fret, alright? We're gonna do it again. But this time we're gonna add in a little... It's a, it's a little bluesy thing, it's... It's, it's, all, it's not even a half step. That we're unbending from, or that we're uh, pre bending from. But on the 12th fret, we're gonna pre bend a little bit. Just release, and then uh, pull off to the 10th fret. So on the second, just towards the end, we're gonna add it. Alright? Just like that. Uh, then on the end, uh, since this is. Actually, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a John Mayer solo that he uh, played on this Ed Sheeran song, which is pretty cool. We're gonna we're gonna get uh, this little lick from this new song that you probably recognize, right? Uh, if you remember from um, from I guess I just feel like you you know he plays that lick where he bends up and he hammers on and pulls off. We're gonna have a video out on that song actually pretty soon too. But um, he actually he actually tries it out here. He's going to bend on the 12th fret up a whole step. Hammer on here with the... Uh, you're going you're gonna to tap here on the 14th fret. Or he says the 15th fret, sorry. Right? You're going to hammer on, pull off, unbend, and pull off to the... back to the 10th fret. So... And you're going to play the 12th again, or fret again. Then you can do that little, play that little lick again, alright? And then for the very final line, 
you're just going to play the 14th fret of the B string, then play the 12th fret, then play the, uh, the 10th fret, you're going to bend it up a whole step and then come down. Alright, and that is how you play the entire solo and outro section on the electric guitar. Um, if you like, if you guys like that video, feel free to leave us a like, comment below, uh, anything you have to say, any new songs you'd like to learn, any feedback on this video, I'd like, love to hear it. Um, subscribe for more guitar content coming your way soon, and thanks for watching guys, bye.